Hello everyone. Today in this video I will explain you how to upload your final term exam on Blackboard using Google Drive. So let's get going. So you'll go to the lecture sections and you'll scroll down and you will find this final term exam here in the lecture section. You will click on it and you will see I have given some basic instructions in this. Also there are three attached files with the exam. One is final term exam template which is this file. You will use this file to insert your name, registration ID, campus, day, class timing and faculty name. And also the link of the Google Drive project here. The other file attached with this document is portraiture style. This is how portraiture style PPT would look like which has details of all the portraiture styles in it. So you will have to go through it properly. After that the third file is final term exam brief which is very important. So the final term exam brief is this document which has all the details of the final term exam. You have to go through it read it thoroughly. So the first step of submission method is rename all images for example traditional portrait 1, unedited, traditional portrait 2, unedited and traditional portrait 1 edited and traditional portrait 2 edited so on and so forth. So first you will go to the folder where you have uh, saved your uh, images such as you have already created a folder by your full name and you have all the 16 images in it. So you will have to rename these images. So I will qu quickly do this and I will explain you how to rename your images. So for example, I will rename this as OK. So now you have renamed all the 16 files as explained in the submission method. After that, step 2 is upload all 8 unedited photos and 8 edited photos that is in total 16 photos in your Google Drive folder. These photos should be JPEG file format only, make sure about that and especially high resolution. So you will go to your Google Drive folder and you will create or instead of creating what I will do is I will drag this entire folder onto my Google Drive here and I'll wait for it to upload completely. So once your folder uploads completely, just click on your folder, right click on your folder, go to share and then make sure you select this option, change to anyone with the link. Once it's changed to anyone with the link, Copy this link and press done. This was the step 3 that after change the share settings of your Google Drive folder to share anyone with the link. Step 4. Copy the shared folder link and paste it in MS Word document final term exam template. This is the document we are talking about. You have already downloaded this document and the link of the folder is already copied on my clipboard. So I will just press Ctrl V here and the link is pasted. I will press enter. Now I will write my other details as a student, full name, registration ID, campus, day, timing. And let's say when it's finished, you should save this document. Okay. Let's see what's the next step. The next step is upload this MS Word final term template on your project on blackboard so you'll go to the blackboard again and you'll click on browse local files and then you select the file where you've inserted all your details such as google drive folder and your name and other details just click on it let it upload here you can see this document is attached over here and then 
you just simply press save draft make sure you press save draft first wait for it so once you press save draft you will see this kind of a screen once you see that your document is uploaded as a draft now press continue and now click submit once you click submit your document here opens and you can see your document is uploaded so the last and the final step is make sure your file is uploaded properly and you receive a confirmation email of submission received via blackboard so go to your emails where you've already uh, signed in onto a blackboard or registered on in this course go to that email and refresh your email and see if you receive an email by the subject submission received you click on that email you will see all the details that you've submitted the file you've submitted the task and all the other details regarding this task so this is your confirmation that you've submitted your final project successfully so this is it now you're done thanks for watching this video i hope this video helped you out wish you all the best